Hey, this is Andy Enriquez. I want to share a story with you. If you recall, I said I used to have a German Shepherd. And one particular day, I was minding my own business. I was in the kitchen area, and I started looking out the sliding glass door. And as I was looking out the sliding glass door, I see my German Shepherd walking towards the house. And inside of her mouth is this large animal. I have no idea what it is. And of course, I completely panic. I run towards the sliding glass door and I scream out to her. I say, Jasmine, put it down, put it down. And sure enough, she actually listened. She opened up her mouth and this animal fell down on the ground. And at first I had absolutely no idea what this thing was. So I'm looking out at the sliding glass door and, and I see this thing laying down on the ground. And as I look closely, I realize that it's a possum. And this thing looks completely dead. I mean, completely lifeless. And of course, I don't want to go anywhere near it. I don't want to touch it. So I call up our animal control and I tell them, listen, there's a dead animal in my backyard. You need to come out, send somebody out to pick it up. They said, well, have somebody out in the next 30 minutes or so. And I went back to just minding my own business. And periodically, I would just look through the sliding glass door just to sort of see what was going on. And, and sure enough, as I look through, I see this possum that I thought for sure was dead. It starts moving. And I, I could see that there's a struggle going on. And this thing is struggling to get on its feet. And after about 15 minutes, this thing actually gets up on its feet and walks away. And I couldn't help but think. I said, you know what? This possum was probably in the backyard doing whatever it is that possums do in the middle of the day. And out of nowhere, the possum found itself inside the jaws of my German Shepherd. And then I started thinking about how many times is it that both you and I are going through life really just minding our own business. And next thing we know, we find ourselves inside the jaws of life. Or maybe you were minding your own business and you got called in and, and you got laid off from your job. Maybe you're minding your own business and you got a bad diagnosis from the doctor. Maybe you're minding your own business and you're in a relationship and all of a sudden you find out that the person you're with no longer wants to be with you. Or maybe you're minding your own business and you find yourself in a situation where you didn't dream in a million years that you would be in that situation. And it literally feels like you're in the jaws of life. And here's what I learned. I learned a very important lesson that day from that possum. You see, sometimes you will find yourself in a situation where you have literally done everything that you can physically do. You've tapped into all the resources. You've done everything that you can. And yet and still nothing is happening for you. And in that moment, you have to learn to be still. Yeah. In that moment, you have to be still and know that this, this too shall pass. That in that moment, you have to be still and know that there is some type of divine intervention that's going to happen. Someone is going to come in and help you out. Some door is going to open. The situation is going to just somehow change. Somehow, some way, things are going to work out in your favor. And even though that, that in the midst of being in that situation, you can't find an outlet, you have to be still and know that this situation, that, that it didn't come to stay, but it's come to pass. So if you're watching this right now, and you're in that situation where right now possibly you feel like you're inside the jaws of life, and you know in your heart that you have physically done everything that you can physically do and that you've tapped into all the resources, what I would say to you is be still. Be still. That this situation, it's, it's going to turn around. I, I know it doesn't seem like it. But be still and know in your heart that this too shall pass. Be still. And know that there's going to be some type of divine intervention in your favor. Just be still. This has been Andy Henriquez reminding you to always show up for your life. Because if you don't, if you don't, ladies and gentlemen, no one else will.